guys welcome back to how machine works.com Joe's here today let's learn how a axial flow piston pump works so this is a dismantled view of the axial flow piston pump let's identify all the internal components and learn it's working so those are the pistons arranged over there see the pistons actually uh, protruding outside the cylinder block okay and that's a swash plate over there where the pistons actually slide so this is a variable type pump that means the flow can be varied normally used in track excavator machines so those are the pistons you can have a closer look over there and uh, what i'm rotating is the cylinder and on the left side we have the drive shaft the drive shaft and the cylinder is a single unit that means the drive which is reaching the drive shaft will result in the rotation of the cylinder and inside we have uh, these pistons which actually move so when the swash plate is vertical there is no flow and as the swash plate angle changes that's a swash plate over there as the swash plate angle changes the flow varies depending upon the angle of the swash plate and the swash plate angle is controlled by a valve according to the load and the requirement so that's the rear side of the piston which is connected towards or which is sliding over uh, the swash plate over there okay now uh, let's go and have a closer look and identify each components over there that's the drive shaft which is a part of uh, the cylinder itself uh, the drive shaft gives drive towards the cylinder and that's the swash plate which i told the pistons are resting and sliding over the swash plate angle changes the flow varies that's our cylinder block in which we have the pistons arranged and as the cylinder block rotates the pistons slide over and actually reciprocate that's the pistons over there we have many number of pistons which are arranged inside a, a particular cylinder block so that's the front view where we have the inlet and the outlet the top we have the discharge and bottom we have the suction so you can see the angle how it can be changed on the swash plate and when the swash plate is vertical as i told there is no flow if you need to see the animation to get a precise understanding of its working there is an annotation over there click on the annotation and see the animation of the axial flow piston pump okay watch the full video and go to that so that so i already showed the rear view over there and uh, that's actually uh, resting on the swash plate now let's remove the pistons outside so those are the pistons been taken so the o-ring gone down, down i think okay we have the pistons over there we have uh, many number of pistons which are inserted into the drilled hole inside the cylinder you can see the shaft and the cylinder is a single piece over there the sh drive shaft is directly connected towards the cylinder at that section now you can see that the pistons over there which i have shown and these are the holes where the pistons will actually uh, be inserted right okay now you can see the cylinder once again and the different angle uh, of the cylinder now uh, we'll be keeping the piston back into the cylinder block and let's see how uh, it can be assembled back and make sure that when once it is removed it should be given back into the same port and should not be changed because they have already mated and uh, scoring marks will be uh, like a male female scoring mark so it has to be inserted in the same port so that's how it looks as i requested uh, make sure that you click the annotation and see the animation video also to get a better understanding of the working of the piston pump and also make sure that you click the subscribe button so that daily video updates will come to your inbox because we'll be uploading more technical videos so here you can see how the pistons actually move as the cylinder rotates the, both the drive shaft and the cylinder is rotating at the bottom the piston is moving back which is creating a suction and moving towards the top the pistons actually reaching the maximum suction and as it rotates to the other side downwards the delivery is happening you can see the piston movement inside the port of the cylinders very clearly over there have a closer look over there and that's how it exactly works the change in swash plate directly affects the flow when increasing the angle flow increases and decreasing the angle flow decreases because when the swash plate is vertical there is no piston movement that is there is no axial movement of the piston and no flow is happening so as i requested please subscribe like comment share to motivate your team you can also see the description for more detailed links thanks for watching this video have a great day